Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today, this is a bit of a subscriber request. I was asked in one of the comments of one of my videos uh, how I take and get a nice even finish, and I believe it was on my meat skewer video, Forging Meat Skewers. How I take and I go from this rough forge scaled finish to a nice smooth even finish that a customer will enjoy instead of all this roughness that you see on here. So today's video is my answer to that question. I'm going to go ahead and go through the different steps and processes real quick and then we will move on. Um, basic thing that you have to think about in getting a nice smooth finish is everything's built up in stages when you're doing finishing work. So, stage one, have a clean forging to begin with. Stage two, make sure you didn't burn or blister your steel. Henceforth, the stage one, a good clean forging. If you have a good clean forging that hasn't been all burned up and really heavily scaled, it makes the next stages in finishing a lot easier. Usually it'll go to stage three. I will use a mechanical means of finishing of some sort, whether that be sanding, sandpaper, wire wheels, buffers, Scotch-Brite wheel, doesn't really matter, flat disc, whatever it is that I need to do to take and work off whatever is rough or that I don't like about the piece. And then the final stage is the actual coloring or the, the finish portion of it. But you have to go through all the stages first to make sure that you're going to get a good quality product at the end of it that the customer is going to like. So if you haven't accomplished stage one, it doesn't matter. You can polish a turd all day long and it will still be a turd. Uh, you know, it might look as smooth as a marble, but I mean, it's still going to stink and your customer's not going to like it. So start with a good clean forging. That's rule number one. So, and we will show you steps three through five here, which is the finishing portion. Okay, everyone. So, we've got our rusty, crusty little bar here. We're going to go ahead and clean it up on the wire wheel. Now, whenever you're working with twists, you want to try to work with the direction of the grooves to try to get down deep with inside all the grooves and get them all completely cleaned out. As I said before, this is a buildup of different processes. A good finish is multiple processes being done well. So you definitely want to take some time here and get this good and clean. If you leave a little rough patch, it'll still be there when you go to finish the rest of the piece and it will not look smooth. So as you can see here I'm just cleaning this all up. There's really not a whole lot to actually look at here but uh, you essentially just want to remove anything and everything that you don't want to be seen in your final product. Now wire wheeling is a slight abrasive process so in certain instances wire wheeling is not the best choice but it works very well on forged steel for the most part as opposed to if you used a flat disc or sandpaper you would actually have uh, gore marks or score marks that you'll have to clean out of the piece in order for it to look right so now we're here at the vise and just like making sure we got a really good clean up on the wire wheel, we're going to make sure that we get a really good even heat on this section of bar. Now, this is just an example piece. And so, you know, this isn't for any specific project, but I hope everybody likes it anyhow. So we're going to get a real nice even heat here. And then I'll be right back with you with the final step. Okay, folks, so as you can see, I've got a nice even heat all over the bar. Now the next point is to actually coat it in your oil or your coating of choice, whether that be wax, beeswax, 
I'm using coconut oil in this case to protect the finish. Make sure you got a fan going on, that would help. I've turned mine off just so this way you guys can hear me. And you'll see the surface that it just gets a little darker at a time. But as you can see, because we did the wire wheeling, that created that under sheen to it. You can see that sheen now. So it's still a piece of black metal. It still looks period and correct with forging and forged finish. <coughs> but it does not look as nasty as, you know, rustic and rough as it could have looked if we would have just left it at a standard forged finish. So not a whole lot of secret to this. Mainly to obtain a nice even heat on something, you just have to take your time. You can't rush your finishing bit. You've put too much work into it at this point to take and rush it. And so, you know, take your time. Get the piece heated up evenly. Make sure you get it all the same color change. You know, if that's a blue color or straw or whatever, purple, if that's what you're going for in the steel, get it all to that color first before you take and go on to your finishing stage. If you have uneven heat, like I explained, if you have uneven heat at any point or juncture on the bar, that area will darken more than the others. Or so, or same thing, if you don't have enough heat in one area, it won't darken as much. So just keep that in mind. You can play with that, actually. That helps and, you know, creates a lot of light and shadow um, that can actually be very interesting and add that extra bit of dimension to your work. But if you're just going for a nice, even finish, there you go. That's how you do it, or at least that's how I do it. So. Anyways, that's it. I hope that answers the question well. Uh, you know, if you guys have any questions about finishing or any sort of techniques you would like me to explain, I will do my best to explain it the way that I do it. It may not always be right or what lines up with someone else's method, and I just frankly don't care. This is just what I do in my shop. Um, you know, I, I'm more than happy to hear other methods of doing things and finish stuff. I love learning and I love teaching. So anyways, put your comments down in the comment section below or any questions you may have for me. And uh, that'll be it for this video, everyone. So thank you for watching. God bless you all. And we'll catch you on the next one.